hello students in this video let us understand how to calculate return on investment they have given balance sheet of modi steel limited and they have given net profit for the year 120000 and sales for the year 10 lakh rupees so by using this information we are supposed to calculate return on investment to calculate return on investment the information we require is net profit and capital employed so here in this problem they have given net profit that is 1 lakh 20 thousand and we need to find out the capital employed amount so the capital employed amount is nothing but it is the total of shareholders fund and other long term debt, cap, debt capital and out of that we are supposed to deduct preliminary expenses if any in the sense it is a sum of shareholders fund plus long term debt capital is nothing but long term loans and debentures so out of that we are supposed to deduct the preliminary expenses and other non operating investments if any so in this problem they have given share capital general reserve debenture and creditor so we are, uh, here the capital employed in simple we can say it is a total of all the liabilities except the current liabilities so here current liabilities creditor so if we exclude creditor it will be the gross uh, capital employed so uh, from this if we did that preliminary expenses and uh, other non operating investments if any we will get net capital employed so let us look at the asset side to find out whether preliminary expenses and other non operating investments given so here in the asset side we don't have any preliminary expenses or any non operating investment so let us calculate the total capital employed here share capital 5 lakh is given and general reserve 1 lakh is given and debenture 2 lakh is given the total capital employed will be 8 lakh rupees and this net profit we are not supposed to consider because it is present here so if net profit is given in the balance sheet then only we are supposed to consider that net profit while calculating capital employed if net profit is given in the adjustment means we are not supposed to consider that net profit while calculating capital employed so here total capital employed is equal to 8 lakh rupees now let us calculate return on investment so return on investment is equal to net profit divided by capital employed so net profit given in the problem is 1 lakh 20 thousand so 1 lakh 20 thousand divided by capital employed we calculated is 8 lakh rupees so 1 lakh 20 thousand divided by 8 lakh into 100 it will be equals to 15 percent so this is the return on investment which has been made by the company